हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से इज दैट द फाइव के जी कॉलर हैज़ अ विलासिटी ऑफ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड टू द राइट वेन इट इज़ एट ए सो इन द कॉलर इज एट ए इट हैज़ अ विलासिटी ऑफ फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड सो लेट मी राइट दैट द विलासिटी एट ए इज फाइव मीटर पर सेकेंड and it is moving to the right so let's say that uh, we define our coordinate system let's say this is my tangential axis and the normal axis is acting towards the center so the velocity is in the tangential direction and that is towards the right so this is the velocity this is va and further it is said that it then travels down along the smooth guide determine the speed of the caller in when it reaches point b so we have to find the velocity of the caller when it just reaches here which is located just before the end of the curve portion of the rod the spring has an unstretched length of 100 mm so let's say that the unstretched length is let's say s dash or we can say let's say this is s so this is 100 mm and b is located just before the end of the curved portion of the rod so the radius of the curved portion is 200 mm k is let me write that the stiffness of the spring is 50 newton per meter and point a is located at a distance of 200 mm from this end so to find uh, the velocity at b we have to apply the uh, conservation of energy so we can write that the kinetic energy at point 1 or state 1 this is the state 1 when it is at point a or we can say that this is state a and this is state b so the kinetic energy at state a plus the potential energies at point a and that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b plus the potential energies at point b and for potential energies we have to define our datum line so let's say that from this is our datum line right this is this is uh, this horizontal line is our datum so at e the kinetic energy is we can add that is 1 divided by 2 the mass is 5 and va so va is 5 meter per second so this will be 5 square and we have two types of uh, gravitational energies uh, sorry potential energies right so here we have the weight the weight of the caller is acting downward and here we will have spring right so the spring will be like this so we will have the spring force and the uh, elastic potential energy so we the potential energies at point a are the gravitational potential energy at point a plus the elastic potential energy at point a so this is the elastic potential energy at point a and this will be equal to the kinetic energy at point b so the kinetic energy at point b will be 1 divided by 2 mass is 5 and this is vb or uh, let's say that the velocity at point b is v right so this is v square plus again we have the the gravitational potential energy at point b plus the elastic potential energy at point b now as we know that the gravitational potential energy this is always equal to w times y and y is the distance of the body from the datum line so this is our datum line so at point a the caller is located at a distance of 200 mm from this datum line this radius and uh, this in the upward direction y is considered as positive from the datum in the upward direction this is plus y direction and this is the negative y direction so vg at a will be equal to we can write that that will be weight so weight is 5 times 9.81 and y is 200 mm so 200 mm divided by 1000 so that will be in meters so 200 divided by 1000 is 0.2 so this is and this will be plus 0.2 since the caller is located in the upward direction that is from the from the datum line in the upward direction that is in the positive y direction so this is vga similarly the 
elastic potential energy at point A will be equal to 1 divided by 2 and spring constant which is 50 times the compression or elongation in the spring when it is at E, when the coil is at A. So, this is square. So, we have to find this S E, right. S A will be the elongation or compression in the spring when the collar is at A. So, so the unstretched length of the spring is given that is 100 mm. So, we have to find, let us say if this point is O. So, we have to find this O A length, right. So, we can find that O A length if we consider a triangle like this. If we consider this triangle, so this is 200, this is given and this is 200. So, O A is the hypotenuse of this triangle. So, let me write that O A square, this will be equal to 200 square plus 200 square under the square root. So, this is 200 square plus 200 square. This is 282.84 and this is since we have taken the square root. So, this is the OA length. This is OA length remember. So, this is 282.84 mm. Now, if we divide this by 1000, we will get that OA length in meters. So, divided by 1000. So, this is 0 0.283 approximately. So, let me write that OA length is 0 0.283 meters. And the unstretched length, the, the unstretched length is 100 mm. So, 100 divided by 1000 is 0 0.1 mm. So, this means that uh, at A, the spring is stretched, right. So, we can write that as A, the stretchness in the spring when the collar is at A will be OA minus that unstretched length. So, OA is 0 0.283 minus 100 mm, 100 divided by 1000, this is 0 0.1, this is 0 0.1 meter, so minus 0 0.1. So, this is 0 0.183 meters. So, when the collar is at A, the spring is stretched to a distance of 0 0.183 meters. So, now we can put S A in this equation. Let me write this is S A square. This will be 50 divided by 2 is 25 into S A square 0 0.183 square. So, this is the elastic potential energy at point A. Now, the gravitational potential energy at point B, so the collar will reach here. So, it is located at the reference line that is at the datum. So, the y is 0 at reference y will be equal to 0. So, again the gravitational potential energy is w times y, y is 0. So, this will become 0 and the elastic potential energy at point B. So, the collar will be here and then the spring length will be OB that let me write OB. So, OB will be this 200 plus 200. So, that is 400 mm, 400. So, this is OB and this is in mm and in meters it will be 400 divided by 1000. So, this is 0 0.4 meters and if let us say that the, the stretchness or compression in the spring at B is SB. So, we can write that SB will be equal to OB length minus the unstretched length of the spring. So, OB is 0 0.4 and the unstretched length of the spring is 0 0.1 meters. So, this is 0 0.1. So, SB equals to 0 0.3 meters. So, the elastic potential energy at point B will be 1 divided by 2 and K, K is 50 and this is SB square. 50 divided by 2 is 25. SB is 0 0.3 square. So, let me find all these. So, the gravitational potential energy at point A is 5 multiplied by 9.81 into 0 0.2. This is 9.81, this is 9.81 and the elastic potential energy at point A is, this is 25 into 0 0.183 square. 0 0.837, this is 0 0.837, 
this is 0 and this is 25 into 25 into 0 0.3 square this is 2.25 2.25 now we need to put all these values in this equation let's say this is our equation 1 so this is 5 divided by 2 2.5 into 5 square so this is 2.5 into 5 square plus VGA VGA is 9.81 plus VEA which is 0 0.837 and this is equal to again this is 5 divided by 2 2.5 into V square plus VGB this is 0 and plus the elastic potential energy at point B which is 2.25 so plus 2.25 so first let me calculate this this is 2.5 into 5 square plus 9.81 plus 0 0.837 this is 73.147 73.147 and this is equal to 2.5 v square plus 2.25 and if I bring this 2.25 to the other side of the equation so it will become minus so this is minus 2.25 and divide both sides of the equation by 2.5 so this will give us v square and if we take the square root then we will be able to find the velocity at point b so the velocity at point b is uh, 73.147 minus 2.25 divided by 2.5 so this is 5.325 or we can say that the velocity is 5.33 meter per second